How's it going, everyone? So on my channel, I have made two other videos talking about the Alpha 9 III and specifically how it will sync up with uh, off-camera flashes. And it was super interesting. Somebody texted me today that uh, one of my YouTube compatriots, Matt Granger, put out a video talking about flash sync. Uh, you should definitely check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But he asked in the video, what lights are out there that would be able to sync with the Alpha 9 III at those like crazy high shutter speeds? You know, it's said that the Alpha 9 III can sync up to 1 80,000th of a second. And he was asking what flash would work at full power at those settings. And so lucky for all of us, just a couple of hours ago, the Alpha 9 III arrived at my house and I have it here. I'm gonna test it out in this quick video and uh, let's see what happens. Now, really quick before we do that, I wanna put out this quick disclaimer. I am a Sony ambassador. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery. The reason why I have this camera, it doesn't belong to me. It has to go back to Sony. Uh, I create content for Sony's Alpha Universe YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out the content that I make there, definitely go check it out after this video. Uh, but I'm creating content for their YouTube channel, which is why I have the camera. Uh, I have to send it back in a few days. And so in that period of time, I'm gonna try to shoot as much as I can. So whatever questions you have, leave them in the comments because uh, I will make sure that I get around to those. But Sony's not paying me to make this video. I am simply making it to answer all of the questions, which I kind of already know the answer to, but there's a lot of misinformation out there and I wanna clear a lot of that up. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get started. We've got the Alpha 9 III here. I've got it connected to a uh, Atomos recorder. I've got a Westcott FJ X3S remote. And here I've got the Westcott FJ400. Uh, I've got it at a 9.0. And we're gonna figure out and see if at these settings, I'm actually able to uh, sync this up for a selfie portrait of myself because I don't have a model today. This is very impromptu, but let's check it out. All right, y'all, so I got my uh, A93 paired up with the uh, Creator app so I can take selfies of myself because I don't have a model to work with today, uh, but I will tomorrow. I've got the Atomos uh, recorder so that you can see the internals of what the camera is seeing. Uh, FJ400 is at full power right now. And let's check this out. So I'm gonna start off at the highest setting. We're gonna go straight for it at 1 80,000th of a second. Uh, I'm at ISO 250 at F1.8. So let's give this a shot here. So I could see looking on the app that it does sync up. Uh, it looks like um, it's a little bit underexposed still with the flash power. So we're gonna play with our settings here and see if we can get a uh, decent looking exposure with this FJ400. So let's go down to, let's go to just a 1 40,000th of a second. Let's see what happens. All right, so at 1 40,000th of a second, we're actually getting a uh, pretty nice exposure, but this is at F1.8, right? So at F1.8, we're able to go up to whatever the max is on this camera, which is 180,000. But if I go to F1.4, something happens here. So the maximum shutter speed that I can get to at an F1.4 is 1 16,000th of a second, okay? Insanely high shutter speed, but we're gonna test that out here. Let's see what that looks like. Let's do one more, because I wasn't looking. All right, so at F1.4, uh, 1 16,000th of a second, ISO 250. We are getting an exposure. It is insanely bright. I'm gonna have to dial down the power to uh, get a decent exposure. So I'm gonna bring this thing down. All right, so I just adjusted that on the camera. We got it down to uh, 6.9. 6.9 is still overexposed. Okay, so I brought the settings down to a 4.7 on the FJ400. So we're at 1 16,000th. What's up? We're 1 16,000th of a second, uh, ISO 250 and F1.4. And at those settings, we're getting a pretty decent exposure. So I'm outside, it's loud. Let me go inside and we'll finish off this video. Now there was something really interesting in my tests with the A9 III. I actually used some other flashes, including my uh, Profoto D2. It was a 1000 watt strobe using the Profoto Air Remote, and I was also able to get that flash to sync up at some really high shutter speeds. Now that one has to be plugged in, it doesn't have a battery pack, which is why I opted to show you that FJ400. 
But we're gonna test out other lights as well because I do have some other flashes here in the studio. Uh, I wanted to put this video out first quickly since I just got the camera uh, to combat some of the misinformation that is going on out there in regards to this camera and how it performs with flash sync. So if y'all could do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, be sure to subscribe. And if the A93 isn't your cup of tea, no problem. There's a lot of new content coming up on other cameras using other techniques, and I'll see you in the next one.